and then it's went right the way through. Hi, welcome back to Chewing the Cud. You're joined with me, Smash B, and Mike. <gasps> Say hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. What have you got for us today, Mike? Oh, today I've got a story about a meaty surprise. Girl. And then I'll be getting all sticky in Crafty Queens. Again, mama, come on. And we even have a game to play with our game of the week. But on screen now, you can see our social media contact info right there. Just look at the Cut TV. And as the names of people who've dropped us a line on the old internet <laughs> go along the bottom of the screen, we go over to Smashby and the showbiz. <laughs> Okay, the Harry Potter star, Harry Melling, who played Dudley Dursley, uh -huh. he's in a new movie and he's Ooh. playing a sub, a little kinky sub, with well, Alexander Skarsgård. So what are you saying, sub? You don't mean like a submarine going boom? Um, unless it's like a hidden double meaning, I don't think that's what we're talking you about. Mean, you mean, you uh. mean? It's giving like, oh my god, it's giving that kind of vibe. And he's with Alexander Skarsgård, so it's giving okay. hot. <gasps> now look. Now, yeah, I, I want to play his type. role. <laughs> I, I have a type. I want to play his role. He's playing the sub, right? He's playing the sub. Yeah, yeah, he's playing the sub. And Alexander's like the kinky Dom daddy, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. I'm so gonna watch this movie when it comes out. I can't wait. <laughs> what, what's the movie called? The movie's called Pillion. I'm gonna Ooh. rush to the cinema to see that. What about you? Um, I don't think I'll rush to the cinema. Is it not even at I'm the like, cinema? Is it just Pornhub exclusive? I, I was or? gonna say, I'll wait till it comes I out. I can imagine yeah. it being a Pornhub exclusive, like an extended cut director's <laughs> edition. <laughs> <laughs> Are you jealous of anyone in the situation, babe? I mean, I d no, because they won't actually be doing the full act. Well, you so know, it's, it's the, it's realism like acting is a thing, you know. Yeah, but it d doesn't happen. Well, same. He's not, <laughs> he's not going to be balls deep in him, is he? Well, it depends on what they get along, to be honest. You never know. Like, <laughs> balls, balls might fly, sparks might fly, balls might fly, who knows? Um, I'm going to excited this movie. It's like a biker thing, though. It's like a queer biker movie or something. Okay, so there's going to be leather involved Leather well. involved. So leather fetishes out there, you're going to love this. Um, it's kind of like recreating the Judas music video from Lady Gaga. Okay. Remember that with an old motorbike I, moment? I'm, I'm aware of... I think that'd be a good idea. Lip sync to Judas. Break out the movie, little musical moment. I'm here for that. But, so we're, ch we're changing from a, a kinky film to a, a musical? I think you do both. You Moulin do Rouge. <laughs> Moulin Rouge, kind of giving both. Moulin Rouge wasn't kinky, though. No, just basque and sexual. It's like an, an X-rated version of Moulin Rouge. Yeah. <laughs> that'd be gorgeous. Cast me. I'll do the music for you. I think it's already <laughs> been done. Damn. Never mind. Next time. Uh, <laughs> so maybe the, the second one. Yeah, the Pillion sequel. Two. Pillion yes. 2, The Revenge. <gasps> the Revenge of Smash B. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for that. I love that, I love that, I love that. So, okay. Um, Bianca Del Rio has announced tour dates for her new show, Dead Inside, if the okay. cat fits. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but she's, she's such a lovely, warm-hearted and kind she's person. She's like a ray of sunshine. So Never nice. said a bad word to anybody. Yeah. Absolute angel. Um, gorgeous, beautiful human being. She's actually kind of a sleigh, not gonna lie. Like She's kind of a sleigh. She's like a cutting queen, isn't she? What I absolutely love is um, every time you've seen her, she's been nasty and vindictive and mean. Yes. But if anyone ever needs any help and support, she's, she's always there. really supportive. Yeah, yeah. Like, I always think that the people that are kind of portraying somebody mean are really, really nice in real life. Mm -hmm. um, but people that are really nice to the public eye, they're normally shits behind the scene. Um, <laughs> But she's coming all over the UK. She's coming to Bel, <laughs> coming to Belfast, coming to Dublin, coming to Glasgow. I think she's coming to me, near Leeds, Newcastle, Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. Birmingham, a big northern tour is giving. Mm -hmm. um, are you going to see Bianca on tour? I, I want to go, but I also don't want to go. Why don't you want to go? Because sometimes I think, I've seen some of the videos of some of her tours and stuff. Mm -hmm. And some of the com comedy is a little bit too... Bit close. too, I get it. Too the knuckle. Yeah, I get and it. And I, I don't want to go there and be disappointed. I get it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I think I might see a sanitised version like YouTube or wherever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, like a, a cut like down a Netflix version. Or... A Netflix special. Do you think she'll do like a Netflix special? She still she... does a Netflix. Has she? I don't know if she had any specials on Netflix. Do you not see the thing where she did the, the Hurricane Bianca thing? I heard of it. I never watched it. Was it a I live tour it. special? Uh, no, it wasn't. A, it was a movie oh. she did. Oh, okay. Come on, movie About girl. Going in, being a substitute teacher in, in Dragon. Yes, I knew there was like a thing. I knew there was like something like that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, was it, it good? Um, Next topic. It happened. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all, all power, all power to for all the diversities that she's done. She's done like music. She's done theatre. She's done yes. acting, film, and stuff. Great. Well done for her. Well done for doing it, babes. But yeah, the the movie was a bit ropey. I get you. AJ and the Queen that we mentioned last time you're on. You prefer that? No, that was worse. Oh really? Oh, I liked AJ and the Queen too. Maybe I'll check it out. Yeah. 
<laughs> I have low standards. We're established. We, we, get that, we get that. Yeah. yeah, I have low standards and you have high standards for sure. So, I don't have high standards. Well, they have high standards. No, <laughs> just higher than mine, which could be scraping the barrel. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a little bit guttural. In the gutter, hey. somewhere there. But slay to her, well done, Bianca, still selling out shows all these years later, many, many years later. <laughs> all right, Bianca's the same age as me. Fuck off. <laughs> Even more years than we thought. I'm joking. <laughs> Joke. Okay. Do you have anything to say about Bianca apart from being the same age as you? No. No. Okay. Similar age. You went to school together, or? Yes. We both got the same dinosaur. Before you say anything. Mm -hmm. I thought that for sure. Okay. Other news. Kristen Stewart's back to sucking blood, and this time from a woman as opposed to a man. Bit of a bi movie coming up. Okay. Um, it's called Flesh of the Gods. That's what it's called. Okay. Giving intense movie title name. Kind of slay though, she did the whole straight twilight. Here we go, there's the main stars. Who is he? Who's the daddy on the right? Who's the other co star? Thinking about me thing. Oscar Isaac. Okay, kill. Cool. So we've got Oscar Isaac, we've got Christian Stewart. It's getting hot bisexual vampire movie. Mm -hmm. I feel like everyone's gonna watch the cinema to see this. I, I think I might want to watch the cinema. I agree. And I'm here for her going back to her roots for sucking blood. Kind of slay. <laughs> And other things, I'm sure. Uh -huh. um, but this gave me more like a uh, queer version of Twilight, I feel like. I, I like queer version of Twilight. Mm. I'm not appreciating what she's wearing. What is she wearing? It's it, giving... it just looks like a, a bib. It's giving she's been wage singer <laughs> for Red Carpet of Five. Uh -huh. She has a busy life. She's got to get her hustles in where she can. Um, I'm not living for the job. It's giving like a piece of paper mm -hmm. on her yeah. chest. But you know, Slave being a bisexual vampire girly, you go Kristen Stewart. Uh -huh. Uh, and, and is this young gentleman going to be bisexual too? Or? I hope so. He's gorgeous. I hope they're both bi for the movie because normally they just have like bi women. I feel like in movies, mm -hmm. are not like bi men. I feel like if they have a good equal situation, then it's giving uh, representation for all the bi girlies out there yeah. and boys and daisies. I think everybody's a little bit bi. I think everyone's on the queer spectrum somewhere. I mean, they're not quite ready to admit it yet. This movie might help us get there a little bit quicker. So. Thanks for doing God's work, Kristen Stewart and <laughs> hot, sexy man accompanying her. So, yeah, <laughs> love that. God's work. God's, maybe not God's, Satan's. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> what's, the, what's that phrase? that um, Jesus is love, but Satan does that thing you like with his tongue. Uh, um, <laughs> and that's that, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, vampire movies, are you a fan of vampire movies? I love Twilight. Okay. Is there any other vampire movies? Oh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. That was my favourite show growing up. I used to love that show. Did you see the movie version? There's a movie of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Is it where they're singing? No, no. What happens in the movie? The Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but it's a movie, so it was pre the TV show. Oh, so it wasn't Sarah Michelle Gellar. No, no, no. Oh, no, I didn't see that. No. <laughs> was it, is it good? It was, it was a, a theme. Was it? Yeah. Really? But Which was better, the TV show or the movie? You see, the TV show lasted a lot longer. And it was so iconic. And it was so much happened in that. So yeah. much. And the yeah. cast was great and all gorgeous. And just, mm -hmm. I'm here for it. Were you Spike or Angel? Both. I've got two hands At the same time. I agree, honestly. <laughs> Any third options right there? It's like... Xander. Whoever else have more than that. He's a bit soppy, actually. He's a bit, yeah, he's a bit yeah, wet. He's a bit annoying, actually, yeah. Oh we'll God. stay with the Angel and Spike. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm <laughs> going down my own little rabbit hole there. <laughs> um, Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the original movie, um, it, it came out before the TV show. Mm -hmm. And it, it had a very quick story arc, so it was a lot more intense. Oh, OK, yeah, Sometimes yeah. the TV show was a bit, all right, Drawn get out. to the point. It's yeah. on. It's 44 minutes, come on. Mm -hmm. on. Yeah, so for I think sure. That, Maybe I'll check out the movie. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I think we should. Think you should. Um, it's a, it's a, an older movie. I thought so. Will you say anything? <laughs> I thought so when you said you watched it. <laughs> so rude. I do love him, really. Um, and that's all for Showbiz News this week. <laughs> been really <laughs> older than dirt. Remember when God's dog was a puppy? Thanks for that, Smash B. Yeah. Um, yeah, always nice to know that Bianca Del Rio is doing something that's the same as all the other stuff. <laughs> yeah, she slays. You're welcome, Mike. Um, but stick around as next it's Mike and the Buzz. You're watching Chew in the Cud with me, Smash B, and Mike. Say hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. <laughs> now let's go deep into his inner thoughts as it's Mike and the Buzz.
Well, you know, thoughts, thoughts, whatever. Okay. Um, <laughs> first thing I have to ask, um, where's your favourite place to go out for food? Um, Wagamama's. I love Wagamama's. I do you enjoy Wagamama's? Do you love Wagamama's? What'd what? you get? Um, I, I'm a, a duck jambui kind of guy. Oh, what is jambui? What is that? It's the rice bowl you think. Oh, is that, I get the noodles, the ramen with the chilli chicken, and I put extra chilli oil in it, a little bit spicy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Have you ever gone to a place where you do like um, like a hot pot, so an Asian hot pot? Um, Which is where you get a bo bowl of stock and you put your food in it and you take your food. No, in. I've never put it in myself. And no, no, okay. no, no. Um, well, it sounds like cooking. I don't want to do that. <laughs> it's, it's like a fondue idea. Okay, fun. But, a fondue idea. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, <Yeah. laughs> um, but with meat and veggies. And okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, it happens. Um, mm. Well, it's a story about somebody that got a little bit scared. Okay. Uh, it's what they're calling zombie meat happened. Zombie meat? Zombie meat. Was it right. Bianca Del Rio's meat in the... <laughs> In the hot um, pot. Worse, um, as they were sat down, there was some raw meat on there, <gasps> and one of the, the the wings started to crawl off the edge of the plate. What the actual hell? What? Oh my so god! It to come across. <gasps> Do we have the video of it? We, we're not going to show the video of no. it because it's it's hor horrifying. Jesus Christ! So which part's which? Like what? It so that that thing there on the, the far right. Yeah. Right. That is currently on the far left. <gasps> Lay it down. I'd be sick. I wonder what it was. It, so, was it a dead chicken? It was chicken. Um, what actually happened was it was so fresh that it was still warm. And they put salt on it, which made the nerve endings react and contract. I feel sick. I'm going vegan after this. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's You'll horrific. be putting meat in your mouth, don't you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so... And what happened was basically the salt caused the, the nerves to react mm. and it, it contracted and then retracted, which made it look like it was moving off the side of the table. That's enough for me to never eat that shit. But yeah. That's actually vile. I think I would complain. I would I would be so, <laughs> so repulsed. I'm like, no, thank you. I wouldn't be able to eat for a long time after that, I feel like. Really? You, you'd be fine. I'd, I'd be fine. You'd be fine. Okay, cool. I'd be fine. Um, I'd be going, oh, yo, yo, you get back in there. <laughs> would you be fine with that if that happened in your play? Would you not freak out? I, I, I. Probably give it a crack on the t table. Oh my god! I, I I have been I've been in farms and things. So I have family in Australia that had a farm. Okay, so you used and the whole livestock. Ah, oh, I'm not down for that. Oh my god, I feel terrible. Oh, and then eat it. I won't be able to do it. Well, it wasn't there okay, getting tuck into it. There's some other prophet. <laughs> Yeah, you got to, to like. You have to baste it first and whatever. You have to and take all the feathers off as well. Well, there's that you as well. Yeah, and get a bit, um... clean the insides out and stuff. But yeah, yeah, that's. Yeah, it's not for me. I'd probably, I'd probably, if I saw it crawling off, I'd pick it up and smack it and go, I've just had to kill this myself. <gasps> uh, I, I, there's two kinds of people in this yeah. world, and there's me and there's you, and I could not do that. Oh my God, I'd be, I literally one time turned vegetarian for a month because I went to Barbados <laughs> and I ate like chicken wings then, but they still had the bones in. I'd never seen the bones in them before, but it looked like the full kind of rib cage almost. Maybe right. It wasn't a wing, it was like a breast, I don't know. But it really put me off, and I went vegan for like a month, and then I got fat of corn, so I stopped doing veggie. So. Yeah, like not not endorsed by corn, honestly. They put so much weight on from the sausage rolls every day. It's crazy. Maybe it wasn't the corn, it was Maybe the it was sausage, sausage rolls. rolls. I think it was the pastry. <laughs> but I didn't like enough stuff to eat all their, like, calibre of food. All I could eat was the sausage rolls, the corn sausage rolls. But I got so chunky from them that I was like, I'm going to be eating meat, honestly. I miss chicken. So, yeah. Um... So, yes, <laughs> never, never stop eating meat. Yeah. Um, and that moves us quite nicely to our next story. Um, DoorDash. DoorDash. Yeah, you know what DoorDash is? I do. It's like a delivery room. It's a delivery room, but in the States. But in yeah. the States, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the States, okay. Uh, well, this is a story about one lady who basically was doing a DoorDash. Mm -hmm. She sat in the restaurant waiting, and she got those little notifications, you know, things like going, oh, it's not the second door, it's the third door on the right. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <gasps> the customer message... Well, no, I'm just waiting. I'm just already anticipating the story. Okay. okay. <laughs> I was like, what have you guessed? Um, so she's there waiting, and a little message pops up and goes, by the way, this order, I am a nudist and will be answering the door naked. I didn't expect that. Jesus Christ. Neither did she. I bet. So she called up the, the head office and went, I'm not delivering to see some old man's penis. Oh, if there's an old man as well, it's just wait, sorry. Well, she just assumed. Well, I um, would too as well. Right. Um, mm. And basically she was told, well, if you don't want to deliver, that's fine. We'll cancel it, but we're going to charge you for the, the cancelled delivery. Absolutely not. Yeah, yeah. No. And that's the thing. DoorDash has got a lot of feedback because people are saying, well, she shouldn't have had to experience an old man's todger. Yeah, exactly. Doing a job. No. Yeah. I would have been like, I'm going to leave it at the door. Here's a picture, but I delivered it. 
I'm going, get in my check and leave, and I don't want to see your flaccid, floppy penis. Like, you said it was flaccid, flaccid or floppy. That's true. Saggy, old, wrinkly penis. That's what I would not want to see. So, poor girl, does she actually have to pay back the... So she ended up um, having to pay the delivery fee because Let's she Let's start, like, like a GoFundMe or a fundraiser for this lady She's who's... not out that much money. Oh, uh, well, you know... It's, 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 the, it's, it's the, the principle. It's the thought. It's the principle. It's the principle, 100%. Yeah. Um, I mean, would you refuse to deliver... Um, I wouldn't be that bothered personally because I'm just a bit more not faced, that kind of stuff. Okay. But I don't think this woman would have to, she'd have to be exposed to that kind of stuff. I think that's a bit unfair. I also think, right, this might be a bit hypocritical, if it's an old man, oh, it's just an excuse to get your cock out, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm a nudist, I haven't thrown a nudist. I think it's just an excuse to get his cock out for some girl who's still his food. I mean, have, you, have you ever been on stage and someone whapped it out for you? When I've been on stage with the audience, um, have I've, noticed? I've not noticed. It's not been big enough for me to notice, so it's not been a good enough job, clearly. <laughs> um, but there's been people backstage that have tried to do that, and that's a different story for another time. But yeah. <laughs> I think we've got plenty of time now. Oh, uh, well, you know, I think it's time for the next topic. Um, okay. Cool. And if uh, you've been propositioned by a Smash Me Behind Stage, share that with us <laughs> at the Club TV on social media. And that brings us nicely to our story of the week. Now. <laughs> Weather, it causes puddles. We're in the UK. Puddles mm -hmm. can be quite big. They can, depending who's making you flood your gates, you know. No, like water on... Oh, uh, yeah, no, that's true, no. yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Not like Chris Hemsworth just walked in, in a towel. And that'd be a big flood, honestly. All right. Um, <laughs> good job on wearing shorts. <laughs> right, um, well, this is Thames Valley Police. Who okay. called to investigate a puddle. Okay. Was it quite a sizable puddle? Or? Quite a sizable puddle. Is yeah. it in a funny shape? Worth. What's the what's the scariest thing you can think would be in a puddle? Um, Liz Truss's reflection. <laughs> okay, that would be quite scary. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about crocs? Crocodiles? Uh -huh. Absolutely not. I'd be fuming. What the hell? Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, one sec. That's not a puddle. That's a lake, first off. They're in Florida. No, that, no that's that's the British police car. Right? How is that a puddle? And that's a pu it's just, side of the road, it's just a lot. And there's a crocodile. But imagine how deep that is for the croc to be in there. Yeah. That would shit me up. Mm -hmm. I'd be running scared, screaming. Scared so many people that they call this. This is in London. Uh-huh. Oh, well, my. Well, Colesbury. Yeah. Oh. Right. Scary, isn't it? Well, yes. I'd right. be terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you be scared? Theater. Would you be scared? Well, I would be to start with, until the simple fact is that it's a fake head. It's a plastic head that someone's left there as a prank. What the f***? Someone's got too much time on their hands. <laughs> like, what the hell? That would actually shit me. Why some old woman <laughs> saw it and died on the spot because there was a real crocodile coming to get her? Honestly, justice for this poor lady. What the <laughs> hell? You just made up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very justice empathetic. For an invisible woman that just I'm an empathetic person with a real or not. I feel bad for them, honestly. That'd be f awful. So someone uh, got a fake crocodile head and put it in the water. Yeah, because they went, how big is that puddle like you did? And then they went, do you know what would be funny? Plastic crocodile head. It is head. creative, not going to lie. Props to them <laughs> for that. But, oh, my God. Do they know who did it? They don't know who did it because they want to find out who did it and then charge them for wasting police time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? There's bigger things going on out there. I, I just get back to, yeah, so another the rest of the world's problems yeah. and some fake crocodile heads, you know. Well, I just thought that was brilliant. Just... That is actually an amazing prank idea, and I kind of love it, and it would get me good. If I walked out on that, I'd another panic attack all over again, honestly. Panic attack? I had a panic attack. I got hospitalised for a panic attack. <laughs> Why did you get hospitalised for a panic well, attack? Well, I thought I was paralysed, so that was quite scary. Uh -huh. Because my, my mouth got stuck open. I was like, I'm always stuck like, like that. My fingers are crossing over in this weird situation. And the Uber driver turns around and he's like, oh, and he's gagged and he's like, do you have a condition? And I was like, I don't know what's happening. And I was like paralysed for like seven minutes. So I went to A&E and they're like, oh, you had a panic attack before? And I was like, it can't be, surely. I was just stressed on a panic attack. I was dehydrated a bit as well from the alcohol yeah. the night before, so there was that uh -huh. as well. But you know, that's a minor detail, minor detail. So, so in the back of an Uber, with your mouth stuck open. We've all and been it's not there. the first time yeah, that's yeah. happened. We have all been there. Um, but that's, that's all from the buzz this week. Thank you, Mike. And if you see a croc in the water or something else, be sure to let us know at the Cut TV. <laughs> something else. Probably a croc has an issue. Sometimes um, a croc. If you see that in the water, just phone me. <laughs> I'll be there in a jiffy. Nom, nom, nom. Um, stick around, because coming up next, we have a game to play in our Game of the Week. Mm -hmm. 
Welcome back. You're watching Chewing the Curd, and we're gonna play a little game. And this is for the man who once got the tiger bomb and Lou confused. It's Mike. Yeah, it was a very unsatisfied one. Game of the week. So as you all know, Mike loves to get gobby. So we're gonna play the gobby game show. Mike's gonna sing us a little song somehow, and I've got to guess what it is. So over to you, Mike. Oh I my know. God. What? She's gagged, Mama. <laughs> well, now I get what the twist is with the Gobby Game Show. Oh, well, um, um, I've seen this. I think I've seen this film before, and I didn't like the ending. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> I can talk with him, not him. I know, but I can't come with him today. First song. I really fall in love with the next world. I'm on the right track, baby. I'm falling this way. I got it. But I want to see if he could go in. Fall <laughs> this way, but then he got it. I'm falling this way. I'm on the right track, baby. I'm falling this way. I'm on the right track, baby. I'm falling this way. Born This Way by Lady Gaga. Woo! Extra great points to me. <laughs> well done, baby. Smash that. Well, <laughs> well, no, it's in there. It's like... That one. I'm very I I I I I I what? I think I'm crying a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a song. And I also think I don't know if I can laugh at that. I feel like the sound of it feels offensive. <laughs> 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 I don't have a clue. Can you give me a t like a, a, a sneaky clue from what the hell that song was? Um. Give me the hook again, just the hook, just the chorus hook. Oh! I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it. I'm Out of Love oh. by Anastasia. Ooh. I got it! I think I was so in shock from the noise you're making at first that I couldn't even <laughs> process the song. Now I'm I'm over it, I'm over the shock. Oh, it happens right. to all of us at the gag for the first time, you know. Oh. Well that's one. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I got it! It's strong enough by Cher! Points to me. There's a slay. Wait, who gets the points? You get it right. You or me? Uh, you. Okay, slay. Uh, what I'm interested in though is the fact that every time I play this song, people are like, I don't no idea what it is. No idea what it is. And you're getting them all the time. I think it's not a me issue, you know? I agree. I think it's them being tone deaf kind of issue. Oh, the second one was questionable. The others I've, I've got very well. Oh. So. Yeah. You just need a musician in the room. A real, a real oh. musician. <laughs> oh, rush it. Rush it. Let's go get them. <laughs> I first, I thought it was King by Ollie from years and years. Then it went somewhere complete. I didn't know. Can you do the hook part again? <laughs> oh, yeah, all I can hear is King by Ollie Alexander. <laughs> oh, Spice Girls! Um, who do you think you are? <laughs> oh my god! Okay, okay. Fair enough. Very similar, ooh, to be fair. So, um, wasn't my fault that one. Oh, fair. <laughs> um, uh, that's one. Spinning around Kylie Minogue. Uh, 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 yeah! Uh, we are eating these up, honestly. Uh, it's like. I 
got the ending. Can you do the ending again? <laughs> no, I'm lost. This sounds like a straight man song. Who? What? Can you give me a clue? Um. Oh. <laughs> a Spice Girl. A Spice Girl? Ah, oh, when two become one? No. Oh. Sing again. One. One for one. And sing the song again. Only one. I don't actually think I know the song. Huh? I don't actually think I know the song. Mm -hmm. What? No, I don't think I know the song. What was the song? Oh. Mel C. Mel C. Uh huh. And the song is. I heard. Who? I don't you. <laughs> don't think I know it, not gonna lie. Don't shoot me, but I don't know it. I wouldn't have got it if, if you'd have sung it without a gag in your mouth, to be honest. Okay, next one. <laughs> I thought, let's go off it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What was the hook part again? <laughs> you know the Kylie song, Your Disco Needs You? Mm -hmm. It's not that one. No. I don't know what this is. A okay. clue? Or a fly school? Um, you're obsessed with the fly school, okay. And uh, what's the song? Yeah. Say what? Yeah, I don't know what that one is, babe. My? <laughs> My. Beautiful. My teacup. Beautiful. My teacup. Yes, you. Belongs to you. <laughs> My Hi. teacup. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> My C cup. Oh, beautiful. My B cup. Oh. Why are you guessing my bra size, Mike? A cup. Um, A cup. <laughs> my Chico Latino. Yeah, I don't know that song. I don't know this <laughs> My C cup. <laughs> that's my new single. Why would you leak that? My C cup belongs to you. Oh, wow. That's true love, real. Honestly. Okay, that's one. Oh, who what? I know this one. Um, he does nothing. The boy does nothing. By Alicia Dixon. <laughs> that was a sleigh. That was giving. I know this tune. Um, dun, 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 Love Machine by Goes Loud. Ah! Ah! Yay! Slay! That was a slay. <laughs> Um, I know the tune. I forgot what it was now. Um, but I don't know the song. I know the tune. It was like um, do the fart start again. I, I know that, but I don't know what the song is. But it's big and strong, arms are made of something. Oh, rah rah, something, blah, 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 blah. It's getting rah rah, ga ga, bad romance. Um, but what's his real song go like? It's, I know what it is, but I don't know what the hell the song's called. It's called what? 
we ask for him. Sounds like a Jesus song. Rough. Rash. Rash. I call rash. Rash. Put it in. For him. Put it in. Rash put it in. Rasputin. Rash put it in. Rasputin. Ah, Rasputin. Rasputin. Okay, I think it said like Rash put it in. I was like, what is this? Oh. Different song than what I thought it was. Glory M. Glory M. M. I will. There were some interesting choices there. Okay. okay. Stick around as next is Mike with Crafty Queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we're gonna beautify our homes with something bespoke. It's Crafty Queens. You know when you get a, a beverage from a hot beverage vendor? Yes, but I do love an iced one, but carry on. Okay. Um, <laughs> a very stereotypical of you. <laughs> too. Um, bottom, that boy is a bottom. Yeah, yeah. Same. Um, mm? When when you buy a hot drink, though, they come with these little cardboard sleeves. Or yeah. brew condoms, as I like to call them. Brew condoms? Brew condoms. I always said brew like RuPaul. No, uh, brew like condoms. Rubble condoms. Because they, they, they're safe holding. I imagine if that was, though, life size. Never mind. Um, carry on. I would not be. Safe holding, yep. Yeah, I agree. I would not believe the house. Um, mm -hmm. the, the, the minute, they're, they're quite ugly little things. They are. So disgusting. I want to beautify them. I agree. They need okay. it. So before the show, I went and stole some things from Flowerbox. Oh dear. I did some stealing. I don't care. She's a thief. I was a thief. It's free, but they didn't stop me. It was gifted. Exactly. So what we're going to do is we're going to make these into something precious. Okay. Okay. The first thing we need to do is turn them inside out. Not again. I had this earlier this week. Mm -hmm. So carefully, where the, where the join is, tear them apart. Okay. Carefully is not really my strong suit. Is it not? But here we are. Okay, she's popped open. Okay, so you're just there. gonna do all three of them. All three? Oh. All three. <laughs> Why was that such a hard task when you like master? I was like really carefully ripping them apart, like it's literally a coffee condom. Yeah. Okay, cute. Okay. Okay, they've been ripped open. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is the first one we're going to take. Uh -huh. And we're going to um, wear the little. You've got a perforation thing. Oh, um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, if you fold it, it's a little perforated line. We're going to cut it along that line. Along that line? Along that line. Okay. This is the part that says the milk, the decaf, all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, and then the skip the cue thing. Yep. About the, the yeah. yeah. There's also a section there saying thick, uncut, and all those kind of things that you just don't need. So, oh, is that my different? Is that different to yours? It's not, actually. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> um, you want to do that on both sides so you get a, a smaller version like this. So Both sides? Yeah, so both sides have got perforation on. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah. You learn something new every day. Yeah. This one says something not for viewing purposes. Never mind. Um, good. She's skinny. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that it, it creates a point. Okay. okay. I'm gonna roll it like a joint. Kind of, a bit like it. I wouldn't know. Not like a joint. I'm gonna roll it like a a stack of money. I don't know. Yeah. So you kind of want it to be a pointy thing. Okay. 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 That's not okay. looking at it. And I want you Oh, yours inside out. Okay, I'm inside out, so you want the brown out on the outside. Right. Okay. okay. Yes, yes, yes. Now, once you've done that, okay, the yeah. narrow end you want to stick together with a little bit of hot glue. The, the narrow glue. end. Mine's giving an unusual shape, not gonna lie. She's. But it's fine. Let's so see. you fold it. A bit of a fold, yeah. Right. Okay, got you. Yeah, yeah we're in the same part. And then a little bit of glue at the tip, just the tip. Okay. This is my foot. Oh my god, it's dribbling out. Ah! It's my first time using a glue gun. Okay. Please be very careful. Actually terrifying. Uh, okay. Tiny little drop. Yeah, waiting for it to dribble out. Always takes a while with these new guys. You know what it's like? Okay. Okay, she's dribbled. Okay. And then take the glue gun away. Okay. Step away from the glue gun. I go. And then carefully squeeze the tip together so you're putting pressure on it. Okay. Okay. This is going to take a moment or two. Set. Is it okay if the glue's on the outside a little yeah, bit? Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Just she's like a messy girl, you know. That's okay, as long as you're not touching it, it's perfectly okay. No, I can feel the heat, but I'm not quite touching it. Okay, good. Okay. After you give it a couple of moments, it should then just set so you can let go of it. Should I blow it? Blow it if, you, if that makes you feel better. 
No one's ever said no before. It gets bigger. No, same size, one of them, you know. You want to zoom in on this at home? <laughs> and she's stuck! Okay, Slay, I'm a crafty okay. queen. Yay! Get me on Drag Race. Okay, now. We're going to put that to one side for a minute. Oh, um, that was easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you're going to take another one of your sleeves. Uh huh. Okay, and this one, we're going to, to bend over into an archway. Again? So again. That's what my life consists of this, honestly. Into, oh, like this, like a little. Like that, but but keeping it flat at the bottom. Oh, um, well, I can relate to that as well, I'm not going to lie. Okay. Yeah. Keeping it flat on the bottom. Yeah, I need some BBL injections, honestly. Mm. Anyway. There um, go. And then we're going to glue those two flat sides together. Oh, wait, right, I see. Right. Okay. A globby glue. Yes. Did okay. you glue, like, on the bottom and then stick that one to that one? Yeah, however you want to do it. Okay. I'm doing it safely. Okay. I feel like I'm on art attack. Do you remember art attack? I do remember art attack. I feel like I'm on art attack. With a big um plastic clay face man. I became him. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yes. Let's see what you've got there? I'm just letting her set. Okay. And she's gonna so, so you should have a, a big D. Here we hang on. Oh that, that works, that works. <laughs> well mine's giving more of like an an open V, to be honest. Um Okay, that's Use okay. that what you will. So she's like that. Okay, so you should have quite a... <laughs> Don't try this at home, kid. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so you made that one a little bit wider than it needs to be. It needs to be a bit narrower. Sometimes you get that in life, babe. Sizes, okay. because you know, Because we, we, we do need a wider one in a moment anyway. Oh, well, I'm so just one step ahead, you you're know. Just, just a little bit ahead. Okay, we'll save that for the side, then. So... Pop that to one side then. There she goes. And then for you, the other one, when you glue it together, you want it to be the two little flappy bits. Yes. Yeah? Covering each other where you can. So it's a, it's a really tight fit. <gasps> I figured out what I'm going to do now. Yeah. Okay. Take two. Do you know what? It's all trial and error. Oh, on the inside, not the outside. On the inside? Yeah, so you still want the, the corrugated stuff on the outside. Oh, yeah. Okay, right. Um, yeah. Right, right, right. Now, while you do, you do a tighter one, I'll do a looser one. Okay, well, you know, if the cap fits. Yeah. Ah! Oh, that's fine. We're all good. False alarm. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's spicy. All right, now what we're going to do is once you've done that, you're going to put your smaller one inside your bigger one. Are we still on the same show? Yeah. Okay, yeah, carry on. Small one inside the big one. Yes. Small one inside the big one. Mm -hmm. And then the smallest one inside that one. So you're getting like a three stage effect. Right. Okay. okay. Smash me. Let's move that. Okay. So this is my big one. Mm hmm. Oh, do you know what? It's quite a controversial size I've done here. Hang on. No, we're fine. Okay. I could only fit one way. Big. <laughs> right. I have put them all inside each other. Okay. Um, and then if you pop a little bit of glue in as well, that'll help just to affix them. Okay. Glue them all. Just, just a touch of glue, just to hold it together. Know. Okay. Um, and then... A bit of glue in there as well. I didn't pass DT, you know, in school. DT. Design technology, is that what you called it? Or which was just called making houses? Our, ours was called an arc craft. Was it? Yeah. Noah was there helping DT us. DT was like things like chopping up wood, we making boring metallic stuff. I wasn't meant for that life, you know. Oh, we did 3D design as well. Ah, uh, maybe that's like similar. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna just put some glue there. Oh shit, right, okay, she's a big blob, this one. Okay. Okay, I love it, right. I could've used that the whole time. Good enough, yeah. I could. Okay, so. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then, once you've set that, you just, you've just got some googly eyes. I do. And you just want to stick those onto the, um, the smallest end. Oh, yours comes out as it goes along? Yeah, yeah. 
Mine is giving like a panini with every, with everything very neatly sandwiched inside of it. Okay, well. You know, it's fine, I'm just gonna improvise with it. It's fine, so yours, it's fine. Yours will make sense in a, in a different way. Mine, mine, yes. Mine's giving an alternative to a um, flashlight. Okay. But maybe in cardboard terms, you know? Okay. Let's do a little... I suggest popping a, a, blob, a bigger blob of glue on. A big blob of glue? Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. Okay. <gasps> the steam that's coming off it is crazy. Oh my God, how am I doing so bad at this? Girl, please. Okay. Jesus Christ, right. Do you know what? <gasps> Got it! Yay! Now they are, one's lazy. That's okay. One's not, but that happens in life, you know. Okay. So now, with your pen. Yes. Yeah, on the back of the of, of your creation. <laughs> yeah. Just draw some little lines. Little lines. On the back, meaning not the front where the eyes are. Yeah, so on, on, on the top bit. The top bit. Okay. And the, the, the process of the, the lines are just less is more, so you don't need to fill it with lines. You're not colouring it in. Okay, so it's giving hair. Mm -hmm. Not wasting anyone's time. Once you've finished, yeah. you've made a beautiful little hedgehog. Oh, way! Okay, well, yours is a hedgehog. Mine... Uh, mine's giving gobby flashlight, but made of cardboard. Um... What do we think? Could I get a job as, like, an art teacher? Or... Um, I think you could do whatever you wanted to do, but if you can't get any peen, any vagine, or anything in between, remember you can be a crafty queen. Yeah. So, so I have a hedgehog. You do yeah. have a hedgehog. And you have a a choice, I believe. I it. don't know what we could call this, but I feel like there's always one ugly sister and one hot one. So I'm happy to be the ugly sister in this situation, you know? Well, maybe not sister. Maybe like, I don't know if I can say that. Uh, <laughs> can't say that. I can't say that. No, no. Um, <laughs> it's, cut that out. Um, it's giving mess, but you know what? I, I feel like I feel like yours should be going, and I'm doing these. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, it's Gobby. She's a Gobby girl. She's uh -huh. the one that's always going to speak her mind out of the two. You know, she's like, gets things done. She's giving butch lesbian. The other one's giving, like, pretty dainty. Oh, like, you know, keep the <laughs> quiet. <laughs> I got the Gobby one. Well, that's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV in all the usual places. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye! Bye. I thought yeah. you could use this in a good situation. You could not use anything in a good situation.